Hi guys, hope all of you good. Today we are going to learn about lifestyle costing from CMA final group 3 paper number 15 strategy cost management study note 1 cost management lifestyle costing in lifestyle costing we are going to learn about meaning of lifestyle costing meaning of product life cycle characteristics of lifestyle costing phases in product life, life cycle and benefits importance and problems before going to the problems we are going to learn about concept concept means meaning of lifestyle costing what is lifestyle costing the name indicate the cost the cost throughout the life for any product or project simply uh, which is which is simply meaning aims at costs at ascertainment of a product project etc over its projected life it is a system that tracks and accumulates the actual costs and revenues attributable to cost object that is product from its inception to its abandonment which is which means from production to uh, deadline sometimes the terms cradle to grave grave costing or home to tomb costing convey the meaning of fully capturing all costs associated with the product from its initial stage to final stage hope you all understand next meaning of product life cycle product life cycle is a pattern of expenditure sale level revenue and profit over the period from new idea generation to the deletion of product from product range product life cycle spans the time from initial r and d on a product to when customer servicing and support is no long no, no longer offered for the product for products like motor vehicles this time span may range from 5 to 7 years for some basic parameters does life span be 7 to 10 years next characteristics of product lifestyle costing life cycle costing characteristics involves tracing of cost revenues of each product over several calendar periods throughout their entire life cycle traces research design and development cost and total magnitude of these cost for each individual product and compare with product revenue assets report generation for cost and revenues phases there are four phases in product life cycle which are first introduction, second growth, third maturity, fourth decline. There is a comparative analysis of four stages. Introduction, growth, maturity, decline. First, sales volume. In initial stage, which is in introduction stage, sales volume will be low. In growth stage, sales volume rise at increasing rates in maturity sales volume will be decreased in decline sales volume will be start decreasing next price of products price in introduction high levels to cover high initial costs and promotional expenses high in uh, in introduction phase prices will be high level in growth Retention of high level prices except in certain cases. Maturity. Prices fall closer to cost due to effect of competition. Decline. In decline, gap between price and cost is further reduced. Ratio of promotion expenses to sales. Highest. In introduction stage, highest due to effort needed to inform potential customers launch products, distribute to customers, etc. In growth stage, total expenses remain the same by ratio of s and overhead to sales is reduced due to increase in sales. In maturity stage, ratio reaches a normal level of sales. 
such normal level becomes the industry standard. In decline, reduced sales promotes promotional efforts as the product is no longer is demand. There are two further competition and profits. Hope you will read and understand. In overall analysis, in introduction and growth stage, in the two in the two phases, cost are increasing and the highest level. In maturity and decline, it will be decreasing. While seeing in the graph, you will understand. In introduction and growth, it is increasing. And maturity, in the peak, it is in the peak. And going to decline, the sales will be decreasing. Benefits. Benefits of product life cycle costing. Results in earlier actions to generate revenue and to lower cost than otherwise might be considered. Ensures better decision from a more accurate and realistic assessment of revenues and cost at least within a particular life cycle stage. Promotes long term rewarding. Provides an overall framework for considering total incremental cost over the lifespan of the product. And now, importance of product life cycle costing. There is a chance to ask theory in the examination from this topic. May ask. They may ask. I am not sure. Okay, let's see importance. Product life cycle costing is considered important due to the following reasons. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 importance. You will be right in the examination. Uh, the topic headline topic headline and defining the topic into what three lines which is enough for respective marks time based analysis life cycle costing involves tracing of cost and revenues of each product over several calendar periods throughout their life cycle cost and revenues can analyzed by time series the total magnitude of cost for each individual product can be reported and compared with product revenues generated in various time periods. Overall cost analysis. Production costs are accounted and recognized by the routine accounting system. However, non-production costs like research and development, design, marketing, distribution, customer service, etc. are less visible on a product by product basis. Product life cycle costing focuses on recognizing both production and non-production activities. Pre-production cost analysis. The development period of research and development and design is long and costly. A high percentage of total product cost may be incurred before commercial production begins. Hence, a company needs accurate information on such cost for deciding whether to continue with the R&D or not. Effective pricing decisions. Pricing decisions in order to be effective should include market consideration on one hand and cost consideration on other. Product life cycle costing and target costing help analyze both these considerations and arrive at optimal price decisions. Target costing nothing but calculate target cost by less profit from the sales selling price we are going to learn target cost in further days better decision making based on a more accurate and realistic assessment of at revenues and cost at least within a particular life cycle stage better decisions can be taken long run holistic view product life cycle costing can promote long term rewarding in contrast to short term profitability rewarding it provides an overall framework for considering total incremental cost over the entire lifespan of a product, which in turn facilitates analysis of parts of the whole where cost effectiveness might be improved. Life cycle budgeting. Life cycle budgeting. 
which means life cycle casting with target casting principles facilitates scope for cast reduction at the design stage itself since casts are avoided before they are committed or launched in the company is benefited review life cycle costing provides scope for analysis of long term picture of product line profitability feedback on the effectiveness of life cycle planning and cost data to clarify the economic impact of alternative solution in the design engineering and phase etc so we learned meaning of life cycle costing meaning of product life cycle characteristics phases benefits and importance hope you all understand in the next video we are going to problems we going to see problems one by one thank you subscribe for more videos